hello guys welcome to a new tutorial and in this video you will learn how you can install need for speed to special edition on a modern windows operating system so originally this game was released in 1997 for the old windows 9x line of operating systems so now if you try to run this game on a modern windows operating system like windows 7 windows 10 etc this game will refuse to run the game may freeze your pc or it may crash too so today in this video we are going to address this issue so to fix this issue you need to first insert the cd-rom of the game to your cd drive you can see that i have entered the cd-rom inside my cd drive now you need to open the cd after that you need to install the game if you have a 64-bit operating system the game will refuse to install <laughs> You can see that the program says that it will not install due to incompatibility with 64-bit version of Windows. So if you have 32-bit version of Windows, you can install the game. And if you have 64-bit, then you can only copy and paste the files. So we are going to copy and paste the required files. You can follow me. I am deselecting some of the folders that are not required. These auto run files are also, are also not required for the game. So now I am going to copy the files to a folder named nfs2 you can give the folder any name you want ok i am naming it nfs2 se so the files are pasting it is over now you need to uh, rename the install.nfs file to install.win if you don't rename the file then the game will not run after that you need to install to compatibility fixes Here are the two compatibility files. Originally, I created the files using a software named Compatibility Administrator. Here it is. Using this software and PC Wiki, PC Gaming Wiki, sorry, PC Gaming Wiki, I created these files. After you download these files, you need to run this .bat files. It will pass the games. So I'm running the files. Okay, both of the files are now run. After that, you can open one of the files, nfs2sea.exe or nfs2sean.exe. If you try to run this file, your game will refuse to start. I am showing you. It says that the file requires glide to uh, 2x.dll. But we don't have a glide card. Glide cards are originally 3dfx cards, but my PC uses a NVIDIA card. So we need to use the software renderer for the game first. I will show you how you can install, uh, how you can use this file for hardware acceleration. So first of, uh, but first of all, we need to use software acceleration for the game. So I am opening the game now. notice that the sound is crackling so we will also fix this issue in a later part of the video first let's see if the game runs properly <laughs> the game seems to run properly now we are going to use the other file nfs2 sea for hardware acceleration to use hardware acceleration you need to install a program known as dg voodoo i will provide the link in the description for it after you download the program you need to open the uh, sorry ms folder sorry again you need to open the 3dfx folder go to x86 folder and copy all the dll files to the root directory of the game 
sorry you need to copy the files to the root directory of the game after you copy the files you need to copy the control panel of digivoodoo open the control panel and click on this icon dot slash it will create a configuration file of the game to this folder so now we can change the glide settings i am changing to voodoo graphics onboard ram to 4 mb you can change the resolution to an anti-aliasing too ok we are done now you can run the hardware acceleration file nfs2 sea we are skipping the video now properly so now we are going to address the sound issue <laughs> to fix the issue of the sound you need to download a separate version of direct sound i will also provide the link for it in the description Okay, I am looking for the file. Okay, I have got the file now. So after you download the file, you need to extract the file to the root directory of the game. You need to extract the dsound.dll. After that, you can run the game. cracking bug is not available now we have fixed the issues so thanks for watching the video guys if you like the video hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and as always goodbye